Welcome to Civil Fanatics. Today we'll be discussing about plane survey. Plane surveying is a surveying conducted by assuming the Earth's surface to be plane. In other words, we ignore the spheroidal shape called as the oblate surface of the Earth. We'll now look into the features of plane surveying. One. The line joining two points on the earth is straight. This can be understood by the illustration. Consider a point A and B on earth. Let the point be joined by means of a line. More closer the line be, more less is the curvature shown by the line. So it is a straight line as said by the plane surveying principle. The second important principle is plane triangle and plane angles. The triangles and angles formed by plane surveying are plane. In other words, you consider the sum of angles of the plane triangle, it will be equal to the 180 degrees. So this is the second important principle of plane surveying. Third important is the plumbed bob lines passing through the two points said to be parallel in case of plane surveying. If we have two points A and B, two parallel lines can pass through the points and they are parallel to each other which reflects the concept of plane surveying. Now we'll look into some certain other features of plane surveying where plane surveying is adopted when the area of surveying is less than 195.5 km square. It can be conducted by state agencies like R and B department, railway department or the irrigation department. Subscribe to Civil Fanatics for more updates and tutorials.